There are many myths and misinformation circulating about the FEMA relief efforts in response to Hurricane Helene. They are 1. FEMA will confiscate your property after you apply for disaster assistance and they find your land unlivable. This is false. When you apply for disaster assistance, a FEMA inspector may be sent to verify the damage on your home. If they find your home is not livable, the information they collect is to help FEMA determine how much assistance you need to make your home safe, sanitary, and functional. 2. FEMA is asking for cash donations and turning away volunteers. This is false. FEMA does not ask for or generally accept any cash donations or volunteers for disaster response. FEMA encourages people who want to help to volunteer with or donate cash to reputable voluntary or charitable organizations. If you encounter someone claiming to represent FEMA and asking for donations, be careful as it is likely a scam. Government employees will never solicit money. 3. FEMA will only provide $750 to disaster survivors to support their recovery. This is false. $750 is an upfront flexible payment that you may receive while FEMA assesses your eligibility for more additional funds. As your application continues to be reviewed, you may still receive additional forms of assistance for other needs such as temporary housing, personal property, or home repair costs. If you have any questions about more myths please contact our office at dsdhh.helene2024 at dhhs.nc.gov during business hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can call 919-527-6930 or 800-851-6099. At 919-609-0840 or by video phone at 919-890-0859.